Let me back inside. Let me back inside. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mac on track here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make it look really cold outside with a little bit of fake foggy breath and uh, some uh, blue inside of your uh, clip. So uh, here you have your uh, footage. So just uh, get the footage that you want. Um, here's a beautiful image of myself. Um, Let me back inside. And, uh, obviously, as you can tell, I mean. It's a little bit cold outside, but it doesn't look like Let it could be enough to, um, you know, have my breath be visible. So, uh, first, I'm going to take the clip that you want. Um, great, I've got mine here um, in a new sequence. And uh, then you're going to download this, which I uh, put in the description. Um, it's from Footage Crate, and uh, they have lots of Let great effects that... Uh, basically, it gives a transparent background, uh, meaning when I overlay it with footage here... As you can see, a little brown area. Uh, Let me back inside. So the black background and uh, put over footage, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to take this. As you can see, it's brown, and obviously I don't want to be breathing out brown air. Um, first, we're just going to move it so it looks a little bit more naturally coming out of my um, out of my mouth. Uh, like that. And then we're next. We're going to go to video effects. We're going to go to color correction and grab brightness and contrast. Now we're going to go over to our effect controls. And we'll see brightness and contrast here. Now we're just going to up the brightness uh, a lot. as And also we're going to take the uh, contrast all the way down. So we got 100% brightness and uh, negative 100% uh, contrast. So what that does is it makes it super white. Which is great because it makes the uh, dust look very... Um, look more like foggy air rather than uh, brown disgustingness. <laughs> let me back in and as you can see, I mean, that looks pretty decent I mean, as far as, uh, you know. Let me breath. back in. But it is a little <laughs> bit um, fast and it's a little bit, uh, it looks a little bit fake. So we're going to uh, do a few things. Uh, first, I'm just going to lower the speed and make that 50%. Let me Great, back That's a good in speed for me. All right, uh, and you can adjust that however much you want. And then we're going to go to opacity, because what this is going to do is it's going to allow it to uh, fade out and in a little bit. Uh, so we're just going to lower the opacity to an amount we like. Let me back. And as you can see, that makes it uh, look slightly Let better. Let me back. Although it still looks like uh, it's being poofed, you know, like poof, uh, blown out there. So uh, in order to get rid of that, we're going to uh, cut it right about here. And we're going to go to, instead of video effects, we're going to go to video transitions and just apply a cross dissolve towards the uh, beginning of this. Me back which allows it to fade in instead of... Um, and then the minute you say something, usually at constants, let that's when you want to have the uh, breath appear. Let me back in... Swan back is a great example of... Uh, let me back in... Uh, when you would want back to Back inside. Show up. And uh, I'll let you guys fine tune that to yourself. Also, just because you have your breath there doesn't mean it looks necessarily cold. So in order to make it look a little bit even colder, we're going to go to, uh, again, to color correction, and we're going to grab tint. So we're going to apply that to our uh, layer with our character on it. And uh, as you can see, the it puts a black and white tint on it, which is not what we want at this moment. So uh, because we're looking to make it look blue, we're going to map the uh, white tint to something cooler and because blue is the coolest color you can have you can choose whatever color of blue you want um, I'm gonna probably do something a little bit brighter that's about good for me and as you can see now the whole anything that was white or had a uh, white color in it from the black and white is getting mapped to blue um, however that looks uh, too ridiculous so we're gonna turn it down quite a bit and there we go now it looks pretty cold also looks pretty dark. Um, you can add a brightness and contrast uh, to this clip so you can make it look a little bit brighter. Adjust the tint a little bit. Um, and you guys can play around with that. But there's the basics on how to make uh, footage look very cool. Back inside. 
the um, side. the powder burst of the uh, foggy air and a blue looking frame. So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know and I'll uh, talk to you guys in the next one, okay? Thank you. Bye.